In this video we will introduce the physical inputs and outputs featured in the Atlas NG Analyzer. On the top side we find from left to right the on-off power button, a USB 3.0 host interface which can be used to plug external pen drives and hard drives not only for the purpose of updating the instrument but as well for storing the data generated from different tools included in the instrument an RJ45 Ethernet interface meant to test IPTV services, an SFP Plus connector, that's short for small form factor pluggable transceiver. Next to it, we find two BNC female 75 ohm connectors, which work as ASI and SDI output and input respectively. This will allow us to output the modulated received signals through the output or feed a transport stream or SDI signal to the meter in order to analyze them using ATLAS tools. They support transport stream, T2MI, BTS, SDI, and within SDI, SDSDI, HDSDI, and 3G SDI. We can find as well an input to plug an 1 PPS 10 MHz reference clock the RF input, we will plug the coaxial cable carrying satellite, terrestrial or cable TV signals here. It is a universal female N-type 50 ohm RF input. It can work with signals up to 6 GHz. Conversion to 75 ohm is possible by software. And finally, the fiber optic input, which is FCAPC. The Atlas can be used as an optical to RF converter and as an optical power meter. In the left side we find from top to bottom an HDMI output to watch the screen content in an external screen, a micro USB 2.0 connector mainly aimed at facilitating remote control from a computer by using commands, an RJ45 Ethernet interface for remote control of the instrument via its internal web control a jack interface, which can be used as a stereo headphone audio output or an analog audio video input. And finally, the charging port at the very bottom. Last but not least, in the bottom side of the instrument, we can find the cam slot, which is DBB-CI compliant and will let us de-encrypt scrambled services.